Hey everybody, this is Abel here with Planet Geo. Today we're going to talk about the advanced filter and how to utilize it within your tree plotter inventory application. You've got questions about your tree population and the advanced filter has answers. The advanced filter is located within the navigation toolbar on the upper left side of the screen. Click on the funnel icon and the advanced filter window opens. From here, we have a few different options on how to filter out trees with specific attributes. First, we can set a filter by map, which allows us to select certain trees based on their location. Click the tree map filter button and we now have a blue circle on our cursor. Click once to start drawing the polygon around the area you would like to isolate and click again for every vertex. When you're done, double click to complete the polygon. Inventory will now only show the trees within the area we just drew. Note that the legend now only represents this subset of trees. I can modify the polygon by clicking and dragging the edges. We can also toggle on and off the polygon visibility. To clear the filter, select the clear tree map filter button. The other way to select certain trees is by applying a filter on certain attributes within your tree's data fields. Let's say we want to find all of our live oak that are in good condition. Under the common name field, I'll select live oak. Then in the condition field, select good. Once I've set the filter parameters, then I click apply. I can now quickly see that we have 132 live oaks in good condition. To clear this filter, click the Clear All Filters button. If you do not see the field that you would like to search on in the predetermined list, click on the Add Field dropdown and select the desired field. This will now be added to the selectable fields. With the Advanced Filter, you can also filter on multiple inventory layers, such as organizations and trees. For example, I can filter by all trees with good condition inside organizations that are marked as homeowners associations, or HOAs. I would do this by opening up the advanced filter, click on the client sites tab, click client type, and make sure HOA is selected. Next, click on the trees tab, then condition, and finally make sure that the checkbox for good is selected. Once I've set all my parameters, I'll click apply. Know that the legend now only represents this subset of trees. Filtering with multiple layers can be extremely useful for those clients with our work order management module. Next to the legend, you will see a box with the current filters being applied. This box will turn yellow if a filter is currently applied on the map. If you click the arrow, you can see a summary of all the filters that you have engaged. This is a quick way to orient you to what is being shown in the map. It is also possible to use a combination of both the map filter and the fields option. As you can imagine, these filters can be as simple or as complex as you need them to be. It is important to know that the advanced filter will affect the map and interactive legend, as we've seen, but also your stats, charts and graphs, data table, mass updater, exports, as well as eco benefits if present in your tree plotter inventory application. Thanks for watching and keep a lookout for more training videos coming soon.